Hello everybody, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. Now in today's video, we're going to be detailing this Acura MDX. So guys, this vehicle is about three years old and when the customer first purchased it, we did a new car prep and ceramic coated it. Now we use G-Technic now we use G-Technic XOV3, I believe, on this vehicle, and we only put one layer, and we're going to see how the vehicle held up. So we're going to focus on the exterior, and I'm going to use a product that's been out for a long time, the 303 Touchless Sealant, and I've seen a lot of guys use this, and I wanted to get my hands on it, and I went into Pep Boys today and saw it there on the shelf and said had to have it. So purchased it for today's job, and I gotta say, I am loving this stuff. I compare it to Gion Wet Coat. So if you've seen the other videos that we put out on Wet Coat, click up there for one of the videos. This stuff is so easy to use. It is a spray on, rinse off formula. There is a little bit of a trick though that I learned with the spray on, rinse off products. And I'm gonna show you that in the video. So let's get started. So the G-Technic XOV3 actually held up okay. It was still sheeting and beading in areas, so it was still hanging on. But after a thorough wash and decon, we rinsed and applied the 303 touchless sealant, let it dwell for a few seconds to allow it to bond, then rinsed it off. Immediately you see it bead and sheet water extremely fast. You can see it bond to the paint as you spray, and the results were pretty awesome. Now this product would be perfect for maintaining coatings. All you would need to do is wash the vehicle, rinse it, apply this each time every three to four months, and it will maintain your coating for years. You do want to make sure that the paint is completely covered with this product. I have found that simply spraying and hoping it bonds to everything may not be enough. So we inspect the paint as we apply it and we made sure that every square inch was covered. When everything is sealed, including the wheels, we made sure to dry the entire vehicle using towels and our blow dryer. Now if you want links to the tools and products that we use, you'll find them below in the description. So next we tackled the interior, which wasn't horrible, but it still needed some attention.
We use a variety of brushes, cleaners, our vacuum, and air tools to clean every square inch of the interior. Now the long handle grout brush and long vacuum nozzle are a detailer's best friends. It helps you get into those tight areas that are hard to reach. As well as the air compressor. Having that air compressor alongside you while doing interiors will make things so much easier. Now since we're dealing with some dog hair, we used the Lily brush which worked great. Now we're not going to pull out the extractor for this job since the carpets were not really stained. They just needed a little APC and steam to freshen them up. Make sure to get into those rubber seals of the door really well. They can build up a lot of dirt and grime. So take a damp towel with your APC and use your fingers and the towel to get into that little seam and clean out all of that grime. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to make a YouTube video here. Never mind, I'm sorry, I love you. Not I'm sorry, I love you, I meant I'm sorry, comma, and I love you. Oh, I'm gonna be in trouble later. Now as you're trying to get all that dog hair, sometimes just your gloves are enough to pull all those pesky dog hairs from under the seat. Plus the dog hair was longer and much easier to deal with than short needle fur that weaves into the fabrics, making it almost impossible to remove completely. but using both the Lily brush and the Hoover pet hair brush was necessary to get all of the dog hair.
Now to clean and protect those rubber floor mats, we use a newer product from DP that cleans and protects at the same time. It does leave the rubber looking more natural and it doesn't add any shine or slipperiness at all. On really beat up rubber floor mats though, you may need to use something like Stoner's Trim Shine to restore them. Just make sure to wipe down the rubber mat extremely well to avoid any slipperiness. But we use that product often for beat up floor mats and they look amazing. So let's see how it turned out. All right guys, the touchless sealants, awesome, awesome stuff. So you saw that I sprayed onto the panel and just let it dwell for like three seconds. That's it, just three seconds, enough for it to kind of grab onto the paint, I guess is what you can say. So I know that it is supposed to kind of activate once you pressure wash it, but I found that if I simply spray it on the top panels and let it run down and pressure wash it, I feel that it doesn't get every single inch of the paint. So. I kind of over apply it. That's just me. I want to make sure that this stuff gets onto every square inch of the paint. I say that because when I have sprayed just the top panel and pressure washed it and let it run down, there are some areas of the bottom portions of the paint that don't seem like it got touched with the product. So that's why I say let it dwell on there just a few seconds and then pressure rinse off or spritz it onto the panel both top and bottom especially the bottom because you're gonna need that protection down there the most. So I may have overused the product, but that's okay. This actually did two vehicles and it still has one more application left that I can use on a vehicle. For around 15 bucks, I was able to seal three vehicles with this. So you can upcharge for a sealant because that's what this stuff is. Now, if you are washing your vehicle and clay barring it aggressively or using a clay towel or mitt, and you do notice that the paint is marred up just a little bit, then this probably won't be a good product to use on that. Use this on a vehicle that the paint is already in pretty good condition and it is not showing any marring from the decontamination stage. You can get away with colors like this, silver and dark silver, but on black vehicles, then you might need to just quickly do a polish. Nothing extensive, no paint enhancement polish, just a quick once over with a simple polish that is very easy to work with, say something like Meguiar's 210, which is just a fine polish that will get rid of any marring, clean the surface, gloss it up, and then you can Spray the vehicle down with water and use this. I know it's kind of an extra step. However, you will love the results of this stuff. Then all you need to do after is blow the vehicle dry and just use one microfiber to sop up any of the little drips that you might have because this stuff produces some awesome beating action. All right, guys, so if you wanna pick up any of the products that you saw, again, 
Check out the links down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. If you want to pick up some more apparel, I have new t-shirts, new hoodies, different logos on there as well. And you can pick them up in the merch shelf right below the video. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.